Greetings and salutations, my excellent friends, and a special hello to you, Mr. Edward. I just got done listening to this week's podcast, and I thought I'd comment on one of the topics that you spoke about. You mentioned that an American retail of apparel, I think it was either J. Crew or American Apparel, had to pull down a t-shirt for sale because of the map reference to the Sea of Japan. And while most of the world does call the body of water between Japan and Korea, the Sea of Japan, it does get under the skin of a lot of Koreans. And I like to explain a little bit about that. You see, a lot of historical evidence does show that many, many years ago, the body of water was called many names. One of them being the East Sea, which is what most Koreans call them to call that body of water today, and as well as the Joseon Sea or the Sea of the Josons, which was the dynasty that was here in Korea up until the beginning of the 20th century. After World War II came and Japan kind of annexed the country by force and really plundered it, when they lost the war. Many felt that the name of the body of water should be reflected in that, and it should revert back to the Sea of Korea, the Joseon Sea, the East Sea. Since many people do call it the Sea of Japan, it's a kind of an irritating reminder of events of the past. What the Korean government has done is kindly request that the international community change the maps to reflect both names, the East Sea and the Sea of Japan, since so many people do call it the latter. I think it is appropriate, since there is historical evidence to show that the body of water has been called the East Sea for many years, and there you have it, a little bit of history, a little bit of history on that subject. As always, thanks for making a great podcast, hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.